Georgia has won three in a row, putting itself in great position to win the SEC. Need some help from a Tennessee loss. They also need to beat Auburn for a second consecutive year. Hey, how are you folks? Jason Horowitz. Glad to be with you on the SEC College Football Game of the Week preview presented by Geico. Number 10, Georgia hosting 18th ranked Auburn in what's always a fantastic football game. And for more, we bring in the man that you will see Break it down on the college football today with Tim Brando on CBS starting at 3 o'clock Saturday afternoon. That, of course, Spencer Tillman. And Spence, Georgia has thrust itself back onto the scene after that terrible loss at Tennessee in which it couldn't run the football. No Sean Marino, though. He has been awesome in rejuvenating this offense. He really has. And you're talking about a freshman, freshman runner that's done some outstanding things. What he's allowed is this offense to become balanced all of a sudden. This is the first time in Mark Rick's seven-year run there at Georgia where he's had back-to-back 200 yards receiving, 200 yards rushing, and all of a sudden that gives you a balanced attack. And Mike Bobo, the offensive coordinator, is loving that right now because that makes a team that heretofore really didn't have great big play capabilities. You know, besides the Mikey Henderson catch and the overtime win, of course, over Alabama, they really hadn't had big strike capability. But right now, Marino has totally opened up this offense. Maybe a little tougher, though, to go against uh, Auburn than it was against Troy last week when he had 196 yeah. yards on the ground. Auburn's defense, uh, they really stymied Darren McFadden earlier this season. Mm -hmm. Mark Rick, he's saying that his team is playing better. It's starting to look like the team he wants it to be. But this defense, it was exposed against Troy. And now I know Auburn doesn't spread you out like Troy does, yeah. but is it possible this Auburn offense can open it up a little bit and have some explosive plays? Well, you know, Al Borges, is the offensive coordinator at Auburn. He's a West Coast style guy. It's more a possession type approach for him. So he's not going to spread them out and empty the backfield necessarily like a Troy would. But he is going to have some weapons to deal with. Uh, at the end of the day, Brandon Cox has just got to play more consistent at that position to help them and give them their best chance of victory. Well, let me get it. Let's get into Brandon Cox a little bit because he was benched earlier in the season and he's, he's responded, yeah. even played very well in that loss to LSU, that very close loss. What have you been your thoughts about Brandon Cox as this season has progressed? Well, according to Al Borges, he's gotten better. I mean, I think he was 9 of 11 last week, 167 yards in a win that they needed to get him out and get some backup some time. And so he really managed the game well. He was out by halftime, but at the end of the day, he started to show some signs of his performance two years ago when this Auburn team was pretty solid, pretty good team. So I think Al Borges has got him where he needs to be. He just needs to string those games back together. Reading defenses, making sound decisions, not turning the ball over. That's what Brandon Cox needs to do. Spence, a lot of rushing between the hedges this weekend. That's what you're expecting? Yeah, big time rushing. And I think it's going to be a great matchup of Noshan Marino versus the nation's number eight ranked defense overall. And I think that Noshan Marino has one more game left in him where he's going to be big time. And I think as a result, Georgia may get the victory. And he may get some help as well with Thomas Brown expected back, Coming back. Uh, this weekend. So you like Georgia to hold serve and win at home between the hedges. Yep, yeah, I'm, I'm emotional right now about this Georgia team because they're really doing some things that are really unique outside the box a little bit. Mark Rick with his controversial decision to have his guys come out and celebrate. I'm just liking him right now. I love that decision. A lot of people didn't like it, but I found it fantastic. He apologized. I have no reason for him to apologize. Spence, we will see you Saturday afternoon at 3 o'clock, breaking it all down. All right, Jason, we'll see you. Folks, the game is at 3.30 Eastern uh, on uh, CBS. Of course, it's before that, uh, the college football today. Kicking it all off at the top of the hour. For more on this game or any other, be sure to stay with CBSSports.com. Watch everything else on the CBS Audience Network. Spencer Tillman, I'm Jason Horowitz. Take care.